Hey, CrossFit. So I just got back from our last session at Chick, and Louis Giglio did an amazing uh, message tonight. I love that guy. And uh, um, tonight was an amazing night. And just wanted to share some late night thoughts with you that um, God moved tonight. Like uh, I'd been waiting for this moment, and um, and I was almost fearful that He wouldn't. But God showed up, and um, if you saw the picture of our group sitting outside, that was holy space tonight. Um, it was hard space as um, we listened and people shared and students shared the junk going on in their life and. Um, the pain and the struggles they have, um, just a lot of a lot of hurt. And in the midst of that hurt um, comes hope. And for a lot of these students, they shared how they were reminded that in God it does not matter their um, their lack of image in themselves or the um, fact that they may not be the best at whatever it is, or the bullying that they have experienced in their past does not define who they are. And in the midst of uh, that, the, the bad choices um, that some of these students have confessed um, have now repented. And I got to uh, personally pray with one kid who said, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to start living for Jesus. And so I got to pray with him. And then as we shared, um, there was several other, other students who had said, I, I tonight decided that I wanted to be done with this. And, um, and so it's just, it's cool to be in this place and to, to praise God that um, he is moving in this generation and that, um, that they too can be ones who uh, meet Jesus. And now as we get ready to go home and we are encouraged um, after an amazing cry fest together, um, we are reminded now that we go home tomorrow. Um, and so in this space, uh, as we go home, um, I challenge them with three things. One, to tell the world about what God did um, at Chick 2015 with our group and that remember that this is a milestone for them that um, five years down the road, ten years down the road that um, don't forget what God did in your life at Chick 2015. Um, tell people about that and that was actually in Louis's message um, where he had talked about how you're, he, he, his prayer for our group tonight was that um, that these kids as grandkids will hear about what God did in their life at Chick 2015. And so I kind of continued that to say, start telling people about that. And um, in, the, in the other, uh, as you move into that, don't just tell, but lead into it. Um, we head home and we begin to tell these stories, but now, now that we've had this experience of what God is doing in our life and it revealed himself to us, tell others about that and then point them to Jesus as well. I've met Jesus at Chick 2015. He is alive and well and I want you to meet him too. And so that encouragement um, was also given and I, and then just the unity that we have with this group. Um, I, I cannot tell you how amazing it was to um, see each other, share together in the circle and to love and care for one another um, in the midst of sharing their pain, but also sharing the hope they now have. So Chick 2015 was amazing. And I can't wait till you guys get to hear and see all of these students. And I thank you very much for helping support both by praying and financially helping getting these students to get here. It was a big burden, but I can tell you without a doubt, it was worth every thought. It was worth every penny. And I cannot wait to see what will happen in the lives of these students um, starting tomorrow. Good night.